Back in 2006, when we started this study, we knew that the risk of uh, recurrent disease was increased for many decades. And we also knew that aromatase inhibitors could prevent some of these recurrences after tamoxifen, but it was not tested whether patients who had been treated with aromatase inhibitors in the first five years would still benefit of extending aromatase inhibitors. So that's the reason why we started with uh, the data study. We randomized patients for three years versus six years of anestrozole after an initial two to three years of tamoxifen. And we included only patients who were postmenopausal and who were disease-free after two to three years of tamoxifen. And then as a primary endpoint, we checked for the disease-free survival uh, according to CR definition. And we decided to calculate beyond three years of randomization as the first th uh, three years of treatment was the same for both treatment arms. The primary endpoint was um, actually not statistically significant, but a strong trend for an improved outcome. We found that patients who were treated with extended aromatase inhibitor treatment had improved 3.1% of disease-free survival. And we looked, when we looked more closely, we found that patients with uh, both hormone receptors being positive, so and estrogen and progesterone receptor, that these patients had a larger benefit, which was actually 6%, and that was a significant uh, factor. Um, and when we looked more into detail with, to the patients who had a, a more poor prognosis, then the benefit increased towards 13.6%. So I think that's a clinical worth benefit. I think that it might help, may help uh, future patients. So I think that all patients who have lymph node positive disease and very endocrine sensitive disease should be treated with a sequential uh, tamoxifen and aromatase inhibitor, where the inhibitor treatment should in total last for five years, so in total for the endocrine treatment for eight years of treatment. I think that, um, of course, the benefits should always be weighed against the side effects. So for individual patient decision making, it is important to consider cardiovascular disease, um, bone um, uh, disease and that sort of things. So that is waiving in the decision making process. Mm -hmm.